Community events like that one are common on March 31st as we celebrate the life of Cesar Chavez, the Chicano civil rights leaders who organized poor farm workers in Central California into a national movement. The News 8's Tim Blodgett spoke to two of his closest associates in San Diego. The 1960s were a tumultuous time in the United States. Movements, demonstrations, and civil unrest defined the decade and captivated national audiences. National leaders moved to the forefront of these movements. Leaders like Martin Luther King Jr., Gloria Steinem, and Cesar Chavez organized people, led marches and boycotts, and ultimately shaped real change for the people they represented. We'd drive from San Diego to Delano. We would see farm workers in the field bending over and doing that hard work. I mean, to see poor people who put the food on our table tables being treated basically like they didn't exist without respect, without dignity, with like terrible pay. In 1968, Carlos and Linda Legretti were just college students at SDSU. They were swept up in the activism of the time and became closely associated with the United Farm Workers Movement, an organization that worked to improve the deplorable working conditions for farm workers in Central California. The face of the movement, Cesar Chavez. Quite complex. Uh... Uh, very demanding uh, on us uh, as he was on himself. Uh, he wouldn't do anything uh, that uh, he would ask staff to do something that he wouldn't do himself. And, uh, you know, he, uh, he taught by example. Carlos and Linda moved up to the UFW headquarters in Delano, working closely with Chavez personally. Carlos became his assistant and as a photographer was able to capture the civil rights leader candidly. This common man uh, who was so extremely complex, but so intelligent and able that he was able to get these complex visions that he had into uh, a plain language that everybody understood. Today, many things are named after Chavez, like the street that runs through Barrio Logan. And on this day, March 31st, when he would have turned 94 years old, the United States celebrates Cesar Chavez Day to reflect a man who fought tooth and nail for equality and rights for Latinos and other oppressed peoples. It's a day of reflection on the one hand, and it's a day for me to remember that there's still a lot of work to be done because of the seeds that we're planting in these beautiful young people, that the legacy of Cesar Chavez of nonviolence and respect and helping someone and teaching someone and being proud of who you are make a difference. Tim Blodgett, News 8.